Hey guys, my name is Octoman and this is part 14 of my turn-based battle system tutorial and in this part we are taking care of the hero panels completely. What does it mean is we want to populate information about the hero itself by its name, its HP, its MP and of course we need to replace basically or reset um, the information of that progress bar. So um, what we want to do is at first we want to create a prefab out of one of our hero bars, preferably the one which is completely set up uh, with uh, the anchor points at the right position. So if you have not done or not created any prefab out of your hero bar as I have done in here, make sure you do so if you haven't. Uh, I'm just gonna go and delete this one for now. What I do is I cr um, take that hero bar in here and r drag this one into my uh, prefabs folder called uh, prefabs GUI. There, there are my GUI stuff in here. So what I have right now is just a complete hero bar. Just rename this one to hero bar instead of uh, just hero bar one. So make sure you press F2. And just rename this one in here to hero bar and the same at the top of the inspector too. So with that done we can actually start working on the hero bar itself. Um, this one is going to be hero bar one still. We don't want to do anything with that hero bar in for the moment. What we want to do is we want to have a scalable um, or scalable uh, hero bars or, or panels which are fitting into this uh, place and we want to uh, fit this to any screen size basically or almost any screen size and we also want to make or create them dynamically when the battle starts so we want to or, or every hero needs to take care of that hero bar and create one on its own and place that on the corresponding spot. To go, to make that we need to code something of course and we also need to prepare the hero bar and a spacer object as we have done already here in that game object. Basically we don't need to use that empty game object as a spacer object but it's yeah, I believe it's a bit smoother and uh, cleaner to see what we are doing since we again need that spacer object and find that. Okay, so when selecting our hero panel we can just right click and create an empty game object and this is, will be our spacer game object for that hero panels. So drag them to the corresponding spots on the sides and yeah, create them however, or make it as big or small as you want. I just want to fit the inner part of the border um, of my panel. So also I want to rename this one to Hero Panel Spacer. So I find this one later on better. What I want to do is, for now I go and um, disable hero bar 1 and 2 in the inspector so we won't see them or, or, or and we are not affected by those in any way. What also I want to take care is um, that hero panel spacer needs several uh, um, yeah, new things. The first thing is I want a vertical layout group so I can place all the bars one under another. So when I go over and use that space, I again have a lot of possibilities. I could use padding and send this one to uh, set this one to stretch for the moment, or I just leave it as it is since we use that space as a padding object. So the next one, what I want to do is I want to um, create a content size fitter, and I want to create or basically set vertical fit to the preferred size. Now you see it's just a small line because nothing fits into that content size fitter. Now on our hero bar itself, before we do anything, we grab that and drag one new par or, or yeah, grab a new instance into the hero panel. Don't do it in the uh, in the hero panel spacer. 
So we drag a new instance of that inside of the hero panel. And now we go over and add a element and a layout element. So type in layout element and point or add this one in here. The next thing is I want to set the preferred height or height to be the one it currently is. Well, just for now, later on, we get rid of all the weird numbers behind. Also, we want to set flexible height to be one, just in case um, nothing or any weird stuff, uh, stuff is going to happen. The next thing is we want to store that information into our prefab so we apply the changes by pressing the apply button. Well, at least for now. Now we are able to place that hero bar into that hero panel spacer and let's see what's happening. As you can see, it already fits in the, um, the hero panel spacer. The spacer has resized automatically to the size of the hero panel. If I copy that one over four times, you can see the hero panel spacer is going to be the size of all four hero panels together. The only downside right now is at first it's going to be centered and when I press play it is not automatically fitting my size. So the null reference is because we are not getting the information for that hero bars. We will take care of that stuff later on. I just clear that off once again. So what uh, this is pretty cool for now. I just go and get rid of the three copies of the hero bar once again. And once, uh, and what I want is I want to set the hero panel spacers anchors to the top left corner. So I select Alt and Shift and select this button over here. Now you can see it already goes in the top left corner, but it is not the original corner. It is the hero panel corner in here, which is that, yeah, that one. So what I want to do is the hero panel spacer. I need to resize it a bit once again. As you can see, I just drag all that parts to wherever I want them. Also from the top to the bottom once again. Otherwise we would have some weird problems. Okay, so now it fits automatically in our spacer with the, cur uh, with the preferred uh, uh, height and its, it, uh, its basic um, width. The problem again is it won't stretch automatically because we don't have the canvas scaler set up. I believe it is because of that. So instead of UI scale mode constant pixel size, we are going to change this one to scale with screen size. Now you can see it has been resized a bit again. So we need to fit the hero panel spacer to its full size as it has to be to fit our needs. Once again, you can place that wherever you want. Don't, or basically what you don't or, or not able to do is you cannot set the vertical fit size because it is automatically set by the content size fitter depending on what is in that bar or in that panel. So if I copy four times again, I can see the preferred height can be a bit higher than the one we just created. So let's take a look at what fits pretty good in here. Oh, and before we of course do that, we need to select all our our hero bars and set all them at the same time. So our maximum players later on in the battle will be four. So we need to take care of that to fit all of them into the content size fitter basically in the hero panel spacer. So 32 seems to be a relevant cool size. So now let's see what's happening if I go to maximize on play. As you can see it, oops, it automatically fits in all the hero bars in the content size fitter basically or in the hero panel spacer. If you are not yet yeah, not familiar to or if you don't like that you can always go in and drag it 
um, to any point to make it fit more to your needs. I believe I just leave it as it is. As again, you cannot fit the vertical size except you fill it with all four bars you will later on have and go to the preferred height and change the values to your needs. Otherwise it won't work. So if you have fit all of that four bars, we want to make sure that we take our first bar, which is our prefab we just cre uh, dragged out of the GUI um, yeah, folder. And what we want to do is we want to apply the changes. So automatically all the preferred height and the flexible height will automatically fit in. Um, so what we can do right now is we can delete all of those prefabs and also all of that hero bar 1 and 2 because we don't need them anymore from now on. Now let's get into scripting. What we want to do is again we want to fill in all informations depending on what the heroes itself have stored in them. Um, as you can see in here all that information can be just transported into that hero bar. So at first we need a connection to the hero bar and of course we need a connection um, to all the um, all the sub elements, all those text elements and of course to that image element in here for, for the progress bar itself. So what we want to do is we want to go to our C, uh, scripts folder, GUI, right click and create a new C sharp script and I call this one hero panel uh, maybe stats. Double click this to open it up in mono develop. And what we want to do is since we are using text and image elements, we want to make sure that we use the namespace using unity engine.ui. Otherwise we don't have access to text and image elements. The next thing is we want to create four variables for now. The first uh, and all of them need to be public. So a public text hero name. So we want to store and set the hero name yeah, um, to the particular parts. I'm going to uh, explain it a bit more in just a second. So the next one is going to be the hero HP for the health. Public text hero MP. And the next, I hope you can see this, if not I'm going to zoom in a bit more. The next one is public text, uh, no it's not a text, it's going to be an image. And this is going to be our progress bar once again. Okay, don't forget to save that, we don't need that anymore basically. Um, and now let's head to our hero state machine. In our hero state machine we need three variables for our hero panel. The first one is the transform of, or let's say, one is our transform of the hero sp um, spacer panel or panel spacer. The next one is going to be a, to hold the prefab of the button. We just, will, or basically the panel we want to create. And the last one will be, um, I don't know, oh yeah, the connection to the hero panel stat script. So let's create those pretty quick. The first one is going to be private uh, and of, as you can see, uh, of type hero panel stats and I just call this one stats. The next one is going to be private um, mm, mm, Let's say it's going to be public, public game object, and this is going to be our hero panel, which holds all the informations. And the last one is going to be our spacer object, um, which is of type transform, and it's going to be our hero panel spacer. We could create this one in public mode and just drag that one in 
but when we are changing scenes we not might not find this one um, and the connection might not be there because it is yeah somewhere we need to find it I believe we have to do it like this if not we can just change this later on anyways so what we want to do at start is we want to create a panel and fill in infos of the corresponding hero who is going to create its own health bar into the hero panel space or basically the world panel also we want to find the spacer object somewhere in the game scene and make a connection to it so let's first create the panel and fill in info before we find the spacer object and uh, oh basically yeah let's start with that also if you have noticed in our take damage function we haven't um, kept the hero current HP to zero when we are smaller or equal to zero so what we can do in here is we say hero dot car HP is going to be equal to zero that happens if we have no hero HP left then we automatically set this one to zero otherwise we would have negative numbers and we want to avoid that so let's create a new function this is going to be of type void and we just say create hero panel this function will just yeah create a new panel for this particular hero who is ever that uh, holding that um, uh, that hero state machine and can create its own panel on its own so what we want to do is we um, we we create the hero panel itself for at first so we say hero panel equals instantiate what do we want to instantiate we want to instantiate the hero panel and we want to instantiate that as a game object also we want to know what stats is so stats is going to be hero panel that's what we just created or instantiated dot get component we want to get the corresponding compo script component we just dragged onto or we will drag on it um, and this will be of type again hero panel uh, stats then we need those brackets and close the line for now for that uh, component to be accessible by our hero panel and from our hero state machine we just go back into our prefabs folder GUI and on that hero bar we just go over and drag in that when we select this uh, we just drag in hero panel stats to that bar we don't have to do anything else in here well at least we do but for that we need to drag the panel out of the spacer once again I believe let's see if we can do that as like this so I just select the GUI button the hero bar is still active and we need to fill in the corresponding prefab parts into the hero bar itself if it's not working like dragging them over we need to drag them into the spell spacer once again so what I do is I take name of hero and drag that in hero name also for HP text I'm going to drag into the hero HP text MP text goes in hero MP and the progress bar goes in the progress bar image part now our um, our prefab of the hero bar is completed and we have automatically connections to all of that different parts where currently is we, we currently read hero one and we can also see there is already text in here we could just basically could go over and delete those okay so now we want to fill in the stats to the right position so what we say is stats dot hero HP or oh, let's start with the name uh, stats dot 
hero age, uh, hero name dot text is going to be equal to, and now we just read out our hero information. So we say hero dot the name. Also, we do that for HP and MP. So stats dot hero HP is going to be uh, HP dot text is going to be equal to hero. Um, no, let's do it a bit different. Uh, what we want to set is at first a string. So we say HP double uh, a colon. Then we j just say plus and now we can add um, hero dot um, car HP for example. So what will come out is HP colon and then any number we just have. We could also go over and create new variables which are holding the maximum HP for our current hero. So we could also add a slash and some other values inside of that. But for now we just keep it as simple as it currently is. So the next one is going to be stats.herompt.text and we can set this one as we have done in here. We just say mp colon space plus hero dot car 8 mp for now don't forget to save also i want to already set the progress bar to it so we can go and say progress bar which is the internal progress bar we already have um which is over here you can also set this one to private right now since we don't have to drag anything in here so make sure you add this or change this from public to private. And what we can say is going to be equal to stats dot progress bar. And that's it. So now the stats um, or the panel itself will know, okay, this is the progress bar we need for our current hero to be processing. The last part is going to be we will need our hero panel again <clears throat> and we need to set the parent to our uh, the, uh, to our spacer so this newly created instance of a hero panel will be uh, taken and placed into the right uh, position or basically in the right, right child of game objects where our spacer is we haven't yeah, looked over our spacer for now, so we need to take care of that in just a second too. So what we say is hero panel dot transform dot set parent. Now we can set any parent we want. We want our hero panel spacer game object or tra top of type transform currently. What we also want to say is comma false. That means it won't change its currently or its current local scale. So make sure you add that, otherwise you might have some weird uh, problems in the spacing, maybe you have, you have some overlaps later on and so on. So, so to avoid that, make sure you add that part in here too. That's it for now. Also, before we can, oh no, let's just uh, save that and go back into the start function. We want to uh, fill in the info. The info is going to get filled in automatically in that. So we can also command this one out if we want to create a hero panel. Well, basically we don't need to, but just in case. So in start, we just call this function create hero panel and there we go the only thing is we don't have the hero panel spacer yet so we need to find the spacer for now uh, what we can do is we need to find the corresponding game object and its child object until we have the transform of the hero panel spacer so what we want to do is we want to set Hero panel spacer is going to be equal to game object. Oh, that's a wrong game object. To game object dot find. 
and now we need to find our battle uh, canvas. In my case, it's going to be called battle canvas. You might have called this one different, so make sure you write this one properly, as you can see in here. Then we say dot transform, and then we want to set or, or find a child of that battle canvas. In this case, it's going to be hero panel which is the blue panel, the underlying panel, this one. And we we'll also need to make sure that it is written in strings or as a string. Dot. And again, we need to find another child in that hero panel, which is the hero panel spacer. Hero panel spacer. Make sure you have no typos. And, of course, end the line with a semicolon. So this should make sure that our hero panel spacer gets found when the game or the battle starts. Don't forget to save. Also, we should be able to fill in all that. That looks good. Let's go back to Unity and see if we still get any errors in here after the compiler is done. But it looks okay for now. So when I press play, nothing happens because unassigned reference exception. And that only happens because we haven't set the hero bar into our hero objects. So select hero 1 and 2, or depending on how many you have currently, and just make sure that you drag in hero bar in the hero panel like this so you can deselect them right now clear everything off and test again still nothing let's see if we have the right spacer object um nope it hasn't found the right um hero panel spacer so let's make that uh, let's get into it and find or let's try to find the corresponding I believe maybe we need to set its transform in here once again so dot transform dot find child of course we need to uh, make sure that we find our hero panel spacer before we actually go over and create the hero panel so I just take this one and place this in the first line of the start um, of the start method so again hero panel spacer game object dot find the battle canvas again dot transform dot find child the hero panel I have which is the blue one dot transform dot find child and again in here it's going to be my hero panel spacer we don't need to type anything behind that otherwise it wouldn't be of type transform so um, yeah that's pretty much it for that hero panel spacer line don't forget to save your script and let's see what it's going to happen right now let's pause as you can see, it automatically fills in Hero 1 as a name, Hero 2 as a name, corresponding to uh, the data we have. Also, as you can see, the current HP is over here of 200, so it types in 200. The MP is 10, so in here is current MP is also 10. Same for the second hero, let's see where it is. As you can see, it has 180 current HP and current MP is going to be 20. Also, the progress bars are still filling up. And once they are done, we can do our input or our attacks to the enemy we just chose. We still don't do damage. We go over to that later on. But what we want to do is, as you can see, we already got damage. But the numbers are not affected by them. So what we want to take care is that our current HP is automatically updated when we get damage. So in our 
hero state machine back to it we create a new function and we just call this one void update hero panel so I just write this one directly under the create hero panel so I see what I do and that it is going to have a connection to that it will be a bit more later on so we go over and use regions soon I believe um, but for now we just don't care about the length of the script so what we want to do is when we are taking damage we will get a reduced amount of get damage amount and if we are dying we just go over and set everything to that and once all of that stuff is done I just want to call update hero panel in that take damage script on the end so in update hero panel um, we want to upgrade or update stats on damage or heal and what we do is we can again still use stats dot hero hp dot text and what we want to set this one is basically the same as we have done in here so we, at least we could just go over and take the current hp and mp line and copy and paste them into upgrade uh, into update hero panel don't forget to save everything so what we can do right now is we go back and see what's happening When we are taking damage, we want to see if our HP get updated to the right. And as you can see, now Hero 1 only has 177 HP left, and also Hero 2 only have 122 left. You can always go back and check the hero's current HP in their in the hero state machine corresponding to their game object. As you can see, they now over time. Uh, because all that enemies are going to attack those they will lose the HP and we can see all of that stuff working still we can do that input the progress bars will work as they have to and we can see all the informations are working pretty good until those guys are going to die okay that's it for that part I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something and I hope it was in any way helpful so if it was helpful don't forget to sum this video up if you like it um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you want to see more in the future um, yeah and leave me any questions and comments if you want to by private mode or I'll also use the YouTube message channel thingy or whatever or under the video and of course uh, you have always the possibility to donate so the link will be in the description below, so make use of it if you like to. Okay, so see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.